Hello and welcome. My name is Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forgeworld and Games Workshop. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the channel. I typically do this video every Saturday and showcase what's uh, been happening on the community website and also what was up for pre-order from Forgeworld on Friday and what's up for pre-order uh, from Games Workshop uh, today on the Saturday. So let's go straight over to the community website and uh, you know seven days ago the 19th of October we had a look at the brand new um, sort of reinforcements uh, for um, Primera Space Marines in the form of the Incursors, the um, Imperial Fists and the Salamanders as well as the Impulsor um, transport tank. The next day on the 20th of course uh, as always on the Sunday, they give you a bit of a preview of what's going to be up for pre-order, uh, you know, the next week. And uh, up for pre-order today, as they've said, is um, this uh, Questorus Knight's Upgrades. It's a new sprue. Um, you can have fists uh, and uh, missile launchers. Um, and then also uh, you've got a combined set of Questorus uh, Knights. Um, I think you get three in there. I think, uh, but it only shows two on the box. But we'll have a look at On Games Workshop's website in a, in a moment. Also, there are some transfer sheets, and uh, there's now some Orc Air War Heavy Bombers. I haven't started Aeronautica Imperialis. I'm just happy with um, Adeptus Titanicus, to be fair. But if you have, leave a comment uh, if you played any games and what you think of it. That would be really cool to share with with us on the community. And um, so, apart from that. Also a big, big week for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. You've got this Feast of Bones, uh, new box set. Um, we'll have a, a detailed look at that. You've got these uh, brand new Ossiarch or Ossiarch um, Bone Reapers. Uh, and also you've got um, a load of Ogres as well. So nice um, two forces there. I really like the HQ in here. Really, really cool for both of them actually. And the Ossiarch um, Bone Reapers are lovely models. You know, I think I feel anything to do with skulls or bones, I think Games Workshop are um, in their element. I really do. I love the dice as well, really cool dice. Um, look at those models, brilliant. And then you've got the Ogre, more tribes, and this lovely, lovely. Um, Uh, scenic piece as well uh, with some meat and then some dice for the ogres as well so and then Lord of the Rings you've got some more packs of cards and there you go so we'll have a look at those uh, shortly and um, there was an article about Big Brothers episode 3 there's also Traitor Legions with Contrast model focus on the Ossiarch Bone Reapers um, I really like the look of these even the Mortec Guard pretty decent they've just done such a stunning paint job both with the bone and the armor they've done like kind of like an almost tyranid carapace uh, artwork on them and look at these these necropolis uh, stalkers at first glance like if you just look away and then look at them like it's so, almost like oh it's tyranids <laughs> you know like tyranid warriors but no um but uh i do like the fact that you know a couple of them are holding a blade each and then this guy's got two whopping blades and he's holding them both with both hands if that makes sense it's really cool and then these guys as well kind of look remind me of samurai like bone samurai uh, with these halberds i want to call them but and then uh vok mortian or v vok mortian uh master of the bone tithe got some heads there so yeah really really Awesome looking models. Um, there's a Phoenix Awakening Into the Void. Uh, another short story that you can download. Psychic Awakening, A New Revelation. Don't want to put my foot in it, but I kind of think that that, that symbol is sort of sisters of battle. So we'll see. Um, Rumor Engine October. So you've got some kind of rifle there. Another faction focus for Ossiarch Bone Reapers. So full faction focus this time. The army that will not die. Look like some kind of like warrior there. 
army with cool friends such as Nagash and Arkan. I think they'd go really, really well with them. And then you've got this guy as well. Amazing. Um, Catacross. I mean, it's it's kind of like... It's not even one model, is it? It's kind of like they're building dioramas now. It's on this massive base. Lovely seeing it base. Like, you, you don't even need to put this guy on there. You could put a Space Marine or a Dreadnought or whatever. The, you know... I love it when Games Workshop do this because the... Um, options are, are limitless, you know, but still, it's got this big old model, and then a couple of guys guarding him, and then two more there, just fantastic, love it, absolutely love it. Okay, moving up, uh, Heavy Bomber Tactica, article on the Heavy Bombers, and missions, uh, Knights but small, the Questorus Imperialis uh, in Adeptus Titanicus, um, Help with the, the Doom of Moloch, how to play knights, that looks pretty cool. And there you go, you've got some boxes there, and then you can get the upgrades. Nice that they've done the upgrades in plastic, um, much like they did with the Reaver and the Warlord. Uh, obviously you do get some Forge World upgrades filtering through in terms of different weapon options. Um, Space Marines showcase Darcy's Imperial Fists, a very Black Library Christmas. Um, you can get a, a advent calendar. Um, you get 25 A3 art prints, so if you're after art prints, that's pretty cool. Personally, I prefer chocolate in my advent calendars, but you know. Um, <laughs> uh, and then also you can get this uh, bamboo um, reusable coffee uh, cup as well. Um, uh, next weekend, from next weekend, you can pre-order these, these things. I pre-ordered my calendar, by the way, so that that should come at some point, um, and we'll we'll go through that. Uh, then there's faction focus on Ogre Moor tribes, um, regimental standard for building a glorious future. The scoop from Spiel or Spiel, however you want to call it. Um, they had a good look at Necromunda Dark Uprising, so there's a couple of new forces here. Really cool. You've got the uh, Grinder Cult, the Corpse Grinder Cult, and the Palanite Enforcers. With these big riot shield things. That's cool. That looks like new scenery as well. Then Blood Bowl. You get some Ogres. War Cry. Some new models there. And then Chibi Figures. And then uh, Dreadfane, <laughs> little short game. Uh, then there was Cataphrane Chronicles, Ossiarch Bone Reapers sub factions, Middle Earth top five monsters. Change your Angel of Attack. So this was the um, Blood Angels uh, Jump Pack Contemptor Dreadnought, the Incandius Booster Pack, um, or Insandius. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, but you've got the Talon of Perdition, which has got Death Fire. Um, suffers two wounds for each instead of one. Um, and you roll to save against each wound separately. Um, they don't spill over to other uh, models. Vicious, vicious rip and tear. Um, deep striking. <laughs> deep striking Dreadnought. This is killing Dreadnought drop pod sales, I, I tell you. <laughs> no, it's not. But, you know, no Dread... No uh, dreadnought drop pod needed for this bad boy. He is just, he's loving life. Um, an apocalyptic update. So some uh, there's a, there's an FAQ. You can download all the apocalypse data sheets as well. Uh, then there's uh, ten signals on the land raider, ogre more tribe sub faction, and rules preview for the endless spells and scenery. So that was all the news and previews. Not a huge amount going on at the moment. Um, I've got a funny feeling that this weekend and next weekend there'll be a lot more going on over the next few weeks. Um, I'm sure that um, they'll announce some kind of pre-order for Sisters tomorrow. So I would just check back on the uh, community website um, tomorrow. If they don't announce anything tomorrow, it'll be next weekend. I'm sure of it because November is the month that they said Sisters of Battle would be coming out. Okay, so that's the news. Let's jump on over to Forge World. Here we go. Let's have a look at this Dreadnought. This is the only pre-order on um, Forge World. 
uh, this weekend. Now if we click there, it's £63, this Dreadnought. Um, quite pricey. Uh, if you just type in a normal Contemptor, normal Contemptors are £38. Um, weapons are typically 11 so that's 22 that's 60 pounds so essentially you're paying uh, three pounds more for that um booster pack that's the way i'm working it out so uh it's not really that much more expensive um if, if you look at it that way uh and how many seriously would you need two maybe you could go overkill and get three i just think it absolutely looks so cool i'd love to get one myself i really would absolutely love to get one um but who knows um i just think it looks so cool you know especially in that pose uh, maybe not that pose but uh, there you go it can be yours for your blood angels uh, horus heresy army or as a relic for your 40k army i would have thought so that's the only uh, pre-order for forge world let's jump on over to games workshop then and here we go um on the first page you've got oh the pre-orders from last week so if we just refresh that then there we go let the feast begin a new army of skeletal uh, constructs exacts a terrible price from oath breaking ogres in a new battle box and then strike hard punch above your weight with thunder strike gauntlets and rocket pods and then bombs away launch heavy bombers to support your air war and then lord of the rings the turn of the tide so if we click on new and exclusive, there are a lot, a lot to get through. If we click on pre-orders, 65, review all, we go high to low. Here we go, so let's look at these. So you've got the Endless Boneyard collection, which includes both the limited edition, um, I say codexes, you know, um, battle tomes, uh, and the Feast of Bones box set. Uh, you've got the Reapers of Dead collection, which includes the box set, um, battle tome, I think the cards, um, and then the Bone Tithe as well, and the Endless Spells. Um, so that's pretty good, £205 gets you everything to do with Ossiarch Bone Reapers. You've got the Feast of Bones and Battle Tomes collection. So all the books, the cards, and the uh, box set. Speaking of the box set, here it is, it's £115. I did wonder whether it had breached the £100 mark. If it was £100, I think that would be awesome, but you know, the £15 extra, not too bad. I mean, the models you're getting, I think, are all new. Uh, well, may, maybe not some of the ogres, but definitely the HQ and the Ossiarch Bone Reapers. Um, they're all new too. Um, so yeah, they look absolutely fantastic. Uh, especially these guys here. And this Master of the Tithe or whatever he is. What do you get? You get um, 26 miniatures. Uh, you get 40 page. Feast of Bones book, um, which will be the same as Blood of the Phoenix. It's just a short, short book. It's only twenty pages, but it's you know double sided, obviously. Um, in terms of the models, you get six ogre gluttons, two lead belchers, one iron blaster, a plastic ogre tyrant. Uh, first available first in this set. Um, you get ten more tech guard, three necropro three necropolis stalkers, two Morgast archai, and Vok Morshan, sinister master of the bone tithe and um, you get the uh, eight war scroll cards uh, the core rules and a double-sided token sheet so a fair amount 26 models and um, got some old ogre models um, but then you get these uh, Ossiarch bone reapers this is the tithe of bones collection it's got the limited edition you got the collector's edition and um, battle tome and the um, spells and the bone tithe itself you got the essentials it's got the the same but without the um, collector's edition. Uh, then you've got the Hunger and Hordes collection, £87.50, which includes this, um, what's it called? Uh, more Pot, that's what it's called. Uh, more Pot and the Book for £62.50. Uh, Ghost Gaunt's Omnibus uh, collection. Um, the collector's edition for the supplements for the Imperial Fist and Salamander is no longer available, by the way. Um, and also the supplements. Well, the Salamander supplement and the model and the cards is out of stock. Um, but not for Imperial Fists. Um, the Bone Reapers Limited Edition book, £50. And the More Tribes, £50. The Impulsive was up last week. Um, I think the Ring Racer up this week. I think these are new. 
but they're forty pounds. For six, it's quite pricey. Uh, more ring wraiths, more ring wraiths, all, all forty pounds. Those those sets. Now this is interesting. This Valdor and um, Birth of the Imperium. It's a limited edition book, thirty five pounds. It's one thousand five hundred copies. It doesn't say the page number, which is really annoying, and they don't say it on Black Library either. But looking at the thickness. I'd say it's at least 300 pages, maybe 350. So it's not huge. Um, it's just hard to fathom, like, you know, how big the actual book is. Um, I think it's about the same size as the um, Primark books in terms of. Uh, I think it's the same size as the Primark books, um, but it doesn't follow that, you know, the same sort of font. Um, it'd be interesting if the standard edition of it uh, follows the same suit you know with, with different artwork or something but it's annoying that again they always do this they bring out the limited edition of a book 35 pounds or 40 pounds and then they don't bring out the standard or the softback until a month or two months after of which the interest is is lowered in my opinion and um, it's just a shame that it's 35 pounds to read this this awesome book um, but yeah you can pre-order that anyway uh, the incursors and Fortresses were up last week. Um, I'm not sure about Eladan, Elrond, and Elrond. I think they're new. Thirty pounds for those sets. The Evie Bombers are thirty pounds for a pair of them, so fifteen pound each. The Bone Tide Nexus is thirty pounds. That looks pretty awesome scenery piece. Uh, you know, could you have it for Necrons? Maybe. Maybe if you sprayed the skull and the bones and things metal, but then kept all these. I don't know how you how you'd work it out, but you know I'm sure you could incorporate that into Necron somehow. Uh, Adrax Agatone is actually sold out. Uh, you got the Questorus Knights with Thunderstrike Gauntlets and Rocket Pods, so it's a brand new box set, um, and you do get three of them, even though the box shows uh, two. Let's see. Yeah, three. Three knights. A uh, box only shows two, which is a bit odd. Um, what does the box actually say? Oh, it, said, it does say three. Three times Citadel miniatures, fair enough. But there you go, with the gauntlets and the rocket pods, finally. Um, I was wondering when they were going to do that. The um, battle tomes for the Moor Tribes and the Bone Reapers, both £25 each. That Moor Pot is £25. Mm, that's alright, I suppose. Poor Garadon uh, clearly wasn't as popular as the Salamander's guy. Um, he's still available. The Endless Spells are £22.50. You've got Hardback 20th Anniversary Edition. Has it really been 20 years um, since first and only? So £20 for that book. The Dice are £20. Lords of Donadane, I don't think they were up last week, so they're £20. You've got the e-publications of the Codexes and Battle Tomes. You've got the uh, Lord of the Rings cards, £16 each pack. You got some more Lord of the Rings models, and more, and then the Bone Reapers dice set is fifteen pounds. So it's actually five pound cheaper than the uh, More Tribe set. That's interesting. And then you get various War Scrolls, and you've got that Questorus Knights upgrade sprue for for ten pounds. Um, it looks like you get quite a lot though. Enough for like six knights. It's pretty good, actually. So if you've got some spare knights, you know, even if you've got the knights from the um, the box game still lying around, uh, this is quite a decent upgrade sprue. Doesn't have any transfers though, does it? No. Oh well, that's okay. Uh, and then you've got some card sleeves as well for Lord of the Rings. So that is all of the pre-orders and the news for Forge World and Games Workshop. There was a lot up for Games Workshop this weekend. I wonder if they're going to have a slight break next weekend with a bit of filler. Um, or whether they're going to kick off with the Sisters of Battle straight away, straight off the back of this Feast of Bones um, set. Uh, that would be interesting. I mean, let's face it, last weekend we had Blood of the Phoenix and they've gone straight from that to another um, box set. Um, yeah, interesting times ahead with Sisters of Battle and Christmas coming up with all those um, battle boxes, which they inevitably do every year. Um, what do you guys think of this Feast of Bones and the, the Blood Angels um, Jump Pack Dreadnought? Please do put all your thoughts and opinions down below. It would be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.